They're saying something's going to happen with, with Diddy, y'all. That there's a video showing a male uh, S worker being victimized by Diddy in one of his homes. They are currently in the process of contacting more indiv individuals uh, identified on the tape. So they're saying they have tapes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Liber Liberty, your thoughts real quick. Do you believe that there's tapes? Do you believe there will be some kind of ar arrest? Go ahead, Liberty Dragon. Let's go. Oh, oh yeah, there's definitely tapes. And honestly, he's the one who probably taped them himself. No, but for let's real? be honest, he definitely must have pissed somebody off because he's always holding water for the establishment. Came out strong for Biden. He's the little pet, you know, the establishment pet. But he must have really pissed somebody off behind the scene, you know, to for this to happen. Look at you can tell this dude is uncomfortable, drugged up, out of his mind. Just this still image right here is already sick. I feel sorry for this guy right here. What do you think, Chrissy? You know, I just think that it's what we've been talking about. I think that he is a degenerate. I think that he knew that he could use his power and his money to get away with things. I mean, whenever you're confiscating, whenever you have yacht parties and you're confiscating people's cell phones and all of that, I mean, you already know something's up. Um, and, you know, so literally um, acquaintances, employees, bad boy artists, and industry ins insiders told Rolling Stone that Diddy is a menacing figure who uses his public celebrity adored persona to hide a pattern of S abuse and violence. Mm. Um, so that he's been doing it for over 30 years that um, he's the man that everybody, and I'm putting quotes around this, had legendary parties. Um, but Whoa. it says that, that former students, I guess that's what he called whenever he was bringing in these boy bands to like live in his home and stuff like that, spoke of a very darker side, which included lots of violence, lots of parties, lots of um, abuse, and and um, says that he even took a belt to a woman outside of the dorm area where she was living. And I think that it's exactly what we all have seen coming. Um, with that being said, I don't know if you know this, Nino, but a grand jury has been paneled to look at all of the charges, all of the um, allegations against him. So he could be facing criminal charges finally for all of this. Whoa. I guess the dealer is uh, on the dealer's <laughs> Uh, you about to get <laughs> by the law. <laughs> hey, but you, you know what I was think though? Like, let's be honest. Like, who did he piss off, right? And like, who is going to be exposed in in this uh, footage or whatever? Well, I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I've been saying this for a while, but I think we know where it's going. Uh, Diddy has not been charged, but we know the feds how they operate, or at least I know. It's like a 98 percent conviction rate, y'all. Oh, sure. <laughs> Did the feds raid him for optics or did they raid him because they already know they got his ass and they're just going to, you know, do what they want uh, and do it, do as, as, you know, as they please at this point, because like I said, uh, maybe they already got a case on him. They're just trying to, you know, tighten it up with the bow here. I don't know. I just know it's innocent to proven guilty, but I mean, the things we've seen from this guy and uh, you know, everything that's, you know, that we've been shown that, that they put out there, it's not looking good for Diddy. I'm just, you know, gotta be honest. And it's pretty interesting that he's hasn't been charged or arrested. Maybe it's coming down the pipeline, but let's be honest. I also heard this dude was a rat. I heard he was a, a, a fed or, or he worked for the people. I don't know how true that is, but, you know, uh, I know people in the hood down the road, you know, that make statements and, and you know, work for the Midland Police Department themselves, you know, so it's not uh, okay. far-fetched to think that he could be, uh, he could have handlers that are them alphabet boys. Go ahead, Christy. And, any, and anybody that thinks that somebody is not going to snitch to get themselves out of more trouble is just an absolute lie. You have some of the street guys, you know, unfortunately, I know a little bit more about this than I should, that, that promise that they're never going to be a rat, they're never going to be a snitch, they're never going to be this until they get caught carrying what they shouldn't be carrying no. and and they get reduced time if they'll say where their connect is from. So absolutely. I just wanted to say just along with this real quick, Nino, it just says that, and this was breaking as of 3.50 today, 3.50 p.m. today, it says that Diddy Combs is facing criminal charges as a grand jury has been selected to hear evidence federal, in a federal Probe. The Department of Justice is gearing up to bring a criminal indictment against him as his accusers have been told they could be brought to testify in New York City. The rapper and producer has been named in eight lawsuits accusing him of essay and human trafficking. 
Uh, the potential oh. witnesses have not yet been prepped to testify for oh. the prosecution as Homeland Security investigators are still reportedly gathering evidence in the case. Wow. You know what they say when it rains and pours. It's like I'm sure they have had all these stacked up already. It's like one once one button is pressed, they just pile it on. And basically, when it gets to this point, there's you can't go back from this. You have eight lost. Probably gonna have nine, ten. It's he's done, y'all. Let's be honest. He's cool. Put, put up a new, new poll, y'all. Is is Diddy done for? Uh, hey, Christy, I like that. Uh. That that uh that comment right here. Oh man, didn't even put it. Is Diddy done for? Okay, that's a new poll. Oh, that's a comment. There's the poll. My bad. Okay, uh, right here it says, who is this? Uh, the greatest troll ever says Deshaun is growing on me, bro. He makes some valid points. We just agree on Cameron. Who you calling Deshaun? Do you talking about Deshaun? What's his name? Is that uh, the guy from No No Jumper? Uh, I'm gonna check him out. He's kind of effeminate, to be honest. 